Yes, unfortunately, Stadia is dead. But it's Google, so we kind of expected it, didn't we? I mean, you know, how many products over the years has Google killed off? I mean, things that I used to like using, like Google Allo and Google Hangouts and Google Plus. All these things that they make that are very, very good that they've ended up just chucking on, on the rubbish pile because they made a hash of it. Let's face it, Stadia was actually really, really good. And unfortunately, it was mismanaged as a business. It wasn't marketed well. And they never really gave it a fair chance. Now, people will know that I am a very big fan of Windows Phone. Or was a big fan of Windows Phone, at least. Microsoft have the very same issue. They make products, they scrap them. I was also a streamer on Mixer and a partner there as well. And that got scrapped. And that was a fantastic platform. So they, they these companies all have an issue with uh, products that they mismanage that then get scrapped. And unfortunately, consumers uh, lose out on these fantastic products because of that mismanagement. And I've seen a lot of, of questions going around as well on Twitter and the like, and people saying, is Google Pixel next? Well, I don't think so. And th there's a couple of reasons for that. I think Google have made a much bigger investment in Pixel. Pixel's been going for so so long now. I mean, we're on to Pixel 7, about to launch. And they've invested in Tensor, which we're about to hit the second generation of as well. And I feel like they need to have a phone on the market. They've done it with the Nexus before the Pixel as well, which is more for developers. But now they're pushing into more of a consumer-focused brand. And I think the brand is strong and it's growing. And as we see this year with, with Pixel, it's launching in more markets. Uh, we've got India. The, the 7 is also going to be going to uh, more countries in Europe. So it's a growing brand. We've also got increasing market share here in the UK and the US. So I think the Pixel brand is actually pretty strong. And when they've also got like a feature set that people know and love, and they know exactly what that feature set is, in that we know that Pixels have great cameras, they have a great software experience, all of the software features that you just don't get on other phones. That's what makes a Pixel great, and it makes it a true smartphone. And I think that that gives Pixel a very strong position in the marketplace going forward, and they're going to keep growing. So I don't, I don't foresee that Pixel will go the way of Stadia or the myriad of other um, myriad of other. Um, services that Google has provided over the years, platforms, whatever else. But there's always that nagging feeling, isn't there? The the trouble with this is that over time, especially the more and more consumers that get hurt by a particular brand, is that they start to not trust the brand. I struggle to trust Microsoft, for instance, with new things like the Surface Duo. I really would like a Duo. I like Microsoft products. I'd like a Duo, but could I be sure that they don't shut it down in a year or two and then support just stops after spending well over a grand on one? No. So I'm, I'm quite hesitant. And I think this sort of thing plays into other people as well. They think, well, why, why would I buy a Pixel if Google's likely to just cancel it at some point? And it becomes this sort of spiral of, of doubt that people have about a company, especially with their consumer-focused products. So this is something that people will just say, well, I may as well just buy an iPhone. Because at least I know Apple's not going to cut the iPhone, which is a fair point. But I genuinely do think the Pixel is safe. But again, obviously, I don't really know. You just have to try and, and judge it uh, as it comes. I've chose this moment in time to literally two days before the Stadia announcement that I was making this channel on YouTube primarily pixel focused. Great timing, right? Great. Uh, <laughs> so, you know, 
it's at the back of my mind. I'm thinking, am I making the right choice? Am I really, am I really making a, a, a really smart decision here in going all in on Pixel when there's a chance that Google might pull it? As I say, I don't think it'll happen, but it's there. It's just there at the back of my mind. I'd like to hear what you guys think down in the comments because I, I as I say, it's it's kind of been bugging me a bit and I, I do get tired of these companies making great products that, that a lot of people like and then just axing them because they've mismanaged it. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. Subscribe to the channel. Stay grounded. I will see you all very, very soon.